Hello, um, we're going to do a sound check. Negative. Right? Even though everyone is capacity. already here. Capacity. <laughs> yeah. I know. Burn me negative capacity. Hello. I'm with the loudest. <laughs> I guess Sparrow is the front man. Where's the, the light? That's uh, is that what you up there? No. No. Okay. Alright, good. Now check the facility as well. This is fine. Sounds good. What about Lawrence? You have a mic? Yeah. Okay. This is fine. Show me the distance, by the way. Yeah. Who's the guy on the end? We're in the back. Who's the guy on the end? That's not Lawrence. Lawrence. Yeah, terrified of him. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't. Do we need to do a sound check? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
body of water on this globe that we inhabit. No one had ever written a song about it before us. And in fact, we entitled that song with stark, almost defiant simplicity. <laughs> Pacific. <laughs> to the Pacific Ocean and jumped in, tiny in the water. Keep the world 
Komala are the heckles part of the song. Thank you. 
but I feel like it should be a little more musical. So maybe like with that, uh, you know, like without my formal. I disagree with that. <laughs> How about over here? That's cool. Okay. Like right before the very end. Yeah. Okay. Like right over here. No, the day before, right before, I'll be late for our day. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's why I said it. No, Sylvia's done. Uh, no, you should start. That one really worked. <laughs> like keep that. Keep that with it. Though. Write that, that in. Ask do. Lawrence if you'll try to remember it or something. Put it somewhere. What's the next song? Uh, okay. 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 And I think we have another, what, should we have another break? And another yeah, just keep solo the breaks. What? I have Red, don't worry about reincarnation. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We can't, uh, <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, this is a song that we're about to do uh, that has, uh, it's an attempt to really nail down the question of what is the allure, the appeal, the world-renowned power of Vincent van Gogh. Okay. And uh, that's why we wrote this song, and it's titled, like many of our songs, with a plaintive, minimalist title, Vincent. <laughs> Looking at Van Gogh is like eating a mango And I feel like I can go on and on in this way Looking at Vincent, it just takes an instant And I feel that Winston Churchill wasn't so great <laughs> When they look your cypresses. People need triple bypasses. They should use the text to see. When they see your sunflowers, they go off like gunpowder. It's delicious to see. <laughs> your pictures of arms make frowns and snarls disappear left and right.
I don't want to be a fucking sexist. <laughs> Spiral on Ocarina. Yeah. yeah. It's not an Ocarina. That was called a mountain harmonica. A mountain harmonica. <laughs> Large Fishberg on keyboard. Yeah. Still Jimmy Grell on xylophone. Woo hoo! Frank Mandel on Stop Down in the Trash. <laughs> and on <laughs> Violet Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's, yeah, they're the greatest band on earth. He's village time. You know, uh, yes. Is this an actual poem that you're really doing? Hey, I'm going to read a poem. Oh, no, I'm going to You mean this is a poem? Yes. Yeah, this is a right now a poem. I'm improvising a poem in which I talk to you about the poem that I'm improvising. Laugh, yeah. laugh, laugh. Metaphor. 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 It's a metaphor. metaphor. It's a metaphor. metaphor. And, you're, you're, and you've just met a poem. met a poem I didn't want. That's right. And, um, What's a metaphor? <laughs> metaphor. <laughs> and, yeah, That's and my this show. Break a tank. Is part of the poem. Your statement, Steve Belichinski, all the funny jazz here. Lower, <laughs> lower, <laughs> lower the mic, yeah, please. Jewish chorus. Yeah. Lower, lower, the lower, the lower the mic. Lower the mic, please. Lower the mic. What does that mean? Lower the mic. Like that? Yeah. How's that? Do you want to get a better look at my yeah. physiognomy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're the only one, I think. <laughs> What's the word? Camp. 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 <laughs> yeah. But, you know, um, that doesn't invalidate it as a position. No. So I'm going to read some poems now, and then my wife actually is going to read a couple poems, and then my daughter, and then Lawrence is going to uh, recite the, um, the Declaration of uh, Independence, but um, in Polish. So um, I just have to say my mantra again, I'm sorry. Uh, in joke there. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think I'm going to start mysteriously with these one word poems that I write. I write sometimes one word poems and they have uh, numerical titles. I don't know why, and probably you don't either, but probably Bob Holman knows. So um, I'm going to read them first. This one is called. Poem 342. Rickley. Oh. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, I think it's time for another one of those. Um, yeah, this is called Poem 156. Junkative. Junkative? Youngative. Junkative. Junkative. Like J U N K. Junkative. Oh. I V or I F? What's that? I V, I -V or I F? What do you think? I V. I F. Unless it's French. It's like subjunctive. Yeah. Without oh, sub. subject. That's, that's a verb. Subject. Yeah. yeah. Bob understands my poetry. <laughs> now, this is a recent one. This one I kind of went out on a plan. Sub, you got the junkative. Subject. What's that? We're just continuing our conversation. We're talking about junkative. <laughs> yeah. Now, this one I really, this one not only has a number, but it has a decimal. Wow. I think it's the right term. That's, that's that's a decimal point or a decimal? It has a decimal point followed by a decimal. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that could be a first. Is that a, <laughs> is that that a fraction? Read the it's, a fraction. Read it's a fraction. It's a fraction. It's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're going to really be surprised by this. Okay. 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 Ready? Bob is ready. Home. 36.0. Wow. Oh. 
Stoa. Stoa. <laughs> Uh -huh. I finally found the people I've been writing these poems for. I think I'm going to read some of my bumper sticker slogans. Yeah. I've been lately uh, working in this genre because I write real bumper stickers that are really published by a real bumper sticker company, but they're very secretive, so they won't, don't like me to tell you their name. Mm -hmm. Um, my biggest seller, it, you know, because I live deep in the mountains, so I write about mountain life, and my biggest hit has been a very mountainous slogan. I've been fishing so long, my worm gets social security. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just going to read uh, some of my new ones. Uh, why is satanic heavy metal always better than Christian rock? <laughs> the devil's in the detail. Profound. <laughs> devil's in the chord structure. Um, and this is a variant on one you've seen many times. My child is an honor student. I forget where. <laughs> this one I'm going to read for you and then I'm going to explain why my boss, Electric Dave, is what he calls himself on his email, why he rejected it. Surprising reason. Here it is. Whistle while you twerk. <laughs> Here's the reason. He said to me, Sparrow, not only has that slogan already been invented, but it was a hit song in the year 2000. Oh. Yeah. It was an underground twerk joke already. That's how far behind it. This is the problem of living in the fucking middle of nowhere. <laughs> Um, but this is a very Catskillian one. UFOs gave me ESP. <laughs> I think I'll just end with this one. I steal from Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> Whole Foods. Whole Foods. <laughs> I, I try. Um, okay, so now I'm going to read a couple of my actual poems. Here's one I wrote recently. I think this is a very interesting idea. It's called Rent a Ruin. In other words, you've heard of renting a car. This is an idea where you actually rent an ancient ruin. Mm. You get to own briefly a rent, uh, an ancient, true, real, actual ancient ruin. And I just entitled it Rent a Ruin. Thanks to Rent a Ruin, I own a Roman cistern for two weeks. Come <laughs> 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 get it. <laughs> Okay, I think it's time I 
I get okay. out of here as quickly as possible. Uh, <laughs> this, I'm going to end with this very spiritual poem. It's probably a big mistake mm -hmm. even to bring it up, but it's my new idea. Uh, it's called Zen. Zen? You know Zen, the philosophy. Okay. Yeah, Zen. Mm -hmm. I visited the Zen Center in LA, then walked out the back door into Boston. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so yeah, that was it. Okay, so here's my wife, the ever expressive Violet Snow. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, I, I forgot to print out anything to read, so I'm going to recite the two poems that I have memorized, and they're pretty short. Not as short as far as poems. One is called Rouge Haiku. I fly my bike down Avenue B under a slice of moon. It's September. My bike is in love. We too share love secrets. Down through Chinatown, past East Parking. Drown the clown, balloon water race. Head back uptown, die happy on first, gorging on moon garbage. Mm. <laughs> and the other one is called Love. See only green water having sunk through the floor of the glass bottomed boat. Quiet ballets are sometimes fatal. They also save souls. The fish are intimate. Kiss your limbs. Oh, the delicious silvery lips of fish in the watery, endless cage of love. The green garden waters that woke you from death now demand you for forgiveness. Ha ha ha! Now Sylvia is going to read that Let the children run in the streets. They are pink and blue and orange, 
yellow anyway, like me, I might appear more often in your crowded lives, and then the mountains take their place inside our dailiness again, with no glance for the paper boys and bellboys of our languorous desire, and the sky has painted all our faces blue-gray like a sea, withholding all its angels up and downward looking till the old abysses freeze and fall away, and all their hands are bloody in our houses, and their wings unhinged, as if the day had risen in our sleep and stole away with all its streets and rivers, leaving colors intimate behind. No voice can quell its majesty. Our night thief is a limpid ghost of pasts, and all the shutters have been opened for its silent circulation. Like an atmosphere, it winds around the hours faithfully as an abandoned animal, its plunging hand in the enormity, and all the smiling houses blink their eyes. Um, I think we all just wrote more. This is called Travel Friday. A high-speed train is unforgiving. Here I watch the morning go from blue to gray, and the whole world sleeps and waits in thickish fog. Out here, it's the cypresses that disappear. No skyscrapers or towers cut the skyline and get hid. Here, the veils are of a different kind or architecture species, and the going is rough all the same. Like liberation at the movies, I am captured constantly by new machines, my killer always waiting in the shadows with his gun and all my secrets in his heart. At night, the cops hang out on the Pont Royal and crash their bikes and get into big fights. Mm. <laughs>
about walking a mile for a camel. Or anti-advertisement for a series of stores you may have heard of with the enigmatic name Walmart. In Walmart the prices are low, so low, so low. Know if I used up the song. 
What is the significance of their shared syllable? Zach. Zach. When I was a young aspiring hippie in 1970, every real grown up hippie I met was named Zach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this era in American history has been forgotten. But nonetheless, that may be a riddle that explains the paradox behind the next song, Balzac Prozac. <laughs>
Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I think I should do a solo. <laughs> <laughs> solo. I think we could just do more. Like, like one song. Because we're up to our last song. I feel like I still haven't really shown my talents on the record. What do you think, Bob? No, you Why do you look at me? I, I, yeah. That's Dalachinsky. Yeah, what do you think, Dalachinsky? Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> no, never ask Dalachinsky. Right. I'm just going to do one short solo. Great. Thank you. If you want to come out with me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby, let the good times. Yay! 